Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hello everyone, I am here with a new tutorial of uh, CCNA and uh, we will, today we will learn about the uh, router as DHCP server. DHCP basically stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol through which we can uh, assign uh, a dynamic IPs to the PCs uh, connected to the uh, network. Okay, let's get started with the uh, router getting download from here. Okay, what I'm doing is uh, I'm taking a single router and two switches and a multiple pieces uh, so that I can connect uh, uh, these pieces with the switch and uh, switches will connect to the router. Here I have two local area networks, local area network 1 and the local area network 2 uh, that is connected with a router. So uh, we need to enable communication between these two networks. So I have to configure my router first. So first of all we just need to access the ports giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 these two ports are basically used to uh, enable communication between these two networks locally area networks so uh, configuration is uh, the first one so i'm accessing the uh, first port which is giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 So I'm giving uh, IP address to this uh, port uh, which is uh, uh, 20.1.1.254 and the subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 Okay, no shutdown. No shutdown command is basically used for enabling the ports. As we can see that there is an orange color over there uh, just making sure that uh, this port is up. Okay. And now uh, coming to the second part uh, uh, we just need to access the second port number which is giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 01 so I'm going to the uh, going to access this 0 slash 0 slash 01 and uh, we need to assign the IP address to this which will be 10.1.1.254 okay the subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 and no shutdown okay now both these uh, uh, ports are enabled now so what we need is uh, to uh, enable a DHCP server so uh, here the command uh, that is using for DHCP server is IP DHCP dot no what we need is to define the pole what I am giving is pole LAN 1 okay we are in the LAN 1 setting so I'm giving a network starting point what I'm telling is to, to router that uh, start from 10.0.0.0 default server is 10.1.1.254 we put that earlier and uh, DNS server uh, you can uh, add DNS server or you cannot this is optional actually so nothing worry about that so I'm, uh, I'm coming to the second pole IP DSCP server pole LAN 2 
the second part the second local area network this side okay now uh, i'm i need to add the network starting point network 20 dot uh, 0, .0, 0.0.0 and 255.0.0.0 what i'm telling the router that start from here and start giving ips to this local area network so default server is 20.1.1.254 .1 that we have already put it earlier so dns is uh, another dns server is optional you can add it or rather not okay um, we are almost done here uh, so just we need to check out that the network is communicating or the ips are assigned to this species or not so here the setting ip configuration setting and as we can see that there is a static uh, by default it's a static uh, ip uh, addressing so as we can uh, switch to the dscb server it's required successful and we can see that there is an IP given to this is 10.0.0.1 the, so the subnet mask and the gateway is the same okay coming to the second PC uh, IP configuration setting uh, when I click the DSCP server is by default requested and requested and assigned 10.0.0.2 coming to the third one uh, we can see that uh, this will be 10.0.0.3 okay great now coming to the other side, IP configuration, DSCP server, here we can see that 20.0.0.1, this page, okay, uh, the router is giving IPs to the PCs by default it's using DSCP server, dynamic host configuration protocol, so all these uh, uh, connected nodes have the uh, IPs, so we can test if I get some from here. Okay, I'm just I'm on simulation mode of the packet tracer. So let's play this, sending this packet to the for switch one, and this will further send to the router, and the router will send to the switch number two. Okay, great, and then now switch two will send to destination host okay it is delivered now uh, this pc will definitely reply to this and the reply will go through the same process switch to and the routers and the router will send this packet to the switch one and the switch one will deliver to the requested node so here it is so the communication is fine network is working fine and uh, hope you enjoy the videos thank you very much